If you haven't already, go and check out the D4 7019 video, as D4 7019 is the clause entitled Notice of NIST 8171 DoD Assessment Requirements, whereas 7020, it's entitled NIST 8171 DoD Assessment Requirements. So 7019 is the notice, 7020 is the stuff, essentially. 7020 can get broken down into basically three things. First, you need to submit your assessments into SPRS. For basic assessments, you're going to be submitting those. For basically medium and high, DCMA as a part of DIBCAC will be submitting those for you. The second thing is that if there are findings during that 14-day period following, you can adjudicate or remediate those things to basically justify that, yes, you have checked that box, you have met these practices, and you've met these uh, NIST 800-171 controls. So during that 14-day period, also too, I think it's important to note, that uh, no one is going to be posting those findings into SPRS. So essentially you won't be locked in until that 14 day period is over and you've done your due diligence and checked all the boxes that you needed to check. And then the third thing is flow down requirements. So the first thing is that not only do you need to submit your assessments into SBRS, you also need to make sure that your subcontractors, your vendors, your suppliers are also submitting their assessments into SBRS, which is again, the supplier performance risk system. Many large prime contractors like Lockheed, Raytheon, et cetera, have started to ask their subcontractors through uh, mass emails and memos uh, to their vendor systems to essentially ask, hey, have you met these requirements yet? Or do you plan to? And then lastly, on the flow down piece, you're gonna need to make sure that your subcontractor agreements, those documents themselves, that inserted in them are the, is the language from D4 7019 and 7020. And much like D4 7019, this has nothing to do with CMMC. You can find information about the CMMC requirements in D4 7021. So again, check out those videos, D4 7019 and 7021, to kind of get the full scope of the D4 70 series and all the requirements that government contractors need to meet, specifically DOD contractors. And thank you for joining, and I hope you have found this helpful.